Unlocking Time. The Mystery of Lose Track of Time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a very common yet intriguing phrase, lose track of time. Stick around as we explore its usage, origins, and how you can incorporate it into your daily English conversations. Let's get started. When we say someone has lost track of time, we mean that they have become so engrossed in what they were doing that they forgot about the passage of time. This phrase beautifully captures those moments when you're so absorbed in an activity that hours can pass by like minutes. Whether you're reading a captivating book, working on a passionate project, or simply enjoying a leisure activity, losing track of time is a universal experience that transcends cultures and languages. To help you better understand how to use, lose track of time, let's look at some examples. I was so engrossed in painting that I completely lost track of time and missed dinner. They were playing video games and lost track of time, realizing it was way past their bedtime. Have you ever been so involved in reading a book that you lost track of time? These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various activities, indicating deep involvement and enjoyment. While losing track of time often has a positive connotation, associated with enjoyment or deep focus, it's important to understand the context. Sometimes, losing track of time can lead to negative consequences, such as missing deadlines or being late. Recognizing the balance and knowing when it's okay to lose track of time is a valuable skill in managing our daily lives and responsibilities. Lose track of time is a phrase that connects deeply with our experiences of flow and absorption in activities that we love. It reminds us of the joy of being fully present in the moment. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use the phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. See you in the next video.